We like to say that Jenny here is Kermit the Frog's youngest sister, and with their help, we're building what we believe to be are the world's most realistic robotic animals. This weekend, robots are taking over Boston's seaport. Levin Dote Live, he's there this morning with a look at the event. One of the things that I noticed as I talked to Joyce Sadopoulos, the co-founder of Natural Robotics, is that so many little kids love this big event. This event is our robot block party. We do it every year, and it's open to the public. There's universities showcasing what they're working on. There's industry showcasing what they're working on. What do we have right here? This is, we call it Hammer, the hybrid mobility robot. So it can actually switch between driving on the ground and flying through the air. The benefit is we can go places where other robots cannot. It's like playing the video games every yeah. day. It's mm -hmm. called the Dronut because it looks like a donut. Yeah, it's an indoor confined space inspection drone. What you'll see is I can take my hands fully off the controller and yeah. it will just stay in place. So you can see I can, uh, you can, touch, you can it. touch it. I can move it just like this and I'll come back to where it was. He said, Levin, do you want to try it? And I said, legal would told me to stay away from touching anything while I was here today at NASA Robotics, yeah. um, which is entirely not true, but probably very true. My mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's dementia, and of the many difficult decisions I had to make on her behalf, by far the worst was realizing I had to rehome her dog. This is a dog that's a lap dog, so they're able to sit in their lap and they're kind of just be a companion. Exactly. We studied with over 700 seniors with dementia and learned they have a very strong preference for realism. As a robotics company, we had no idea how to do that, so we reached out to Jim Henson's Creature Shop and they've done all of our artistic design. First, you're like, wow, and then you're like, oh, cute. <laughs> Sometimes you, you think, how do these guys come up with these ideas? Yeah. But it's crazy because they're all working to solve different problems.